Hey, what's going on, Sagittarius? How are you? Sagittarius, thank you so much for being here. You guys already understand just how much I really appreciate your energy, your time, your patience. Just thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you're here for the first time, I welcome you sincerely. This is actually kind of a fun, um, well, honestly, I intended it to be a fun read for, you know, the spring or for the summer, right? But honestly, you know, Sagittarius, your your sign is the last sign that I've that that I'm doing for the that I've done for the series now. And to be quite honest with you, like these readings are really, really like thick, you know. Um, but I guess, you know, when you're talking about things, you know, such as am I gonna drop this person or am I gonna, you know, keep going with this person, right? Like, you know, there's a lot of things to consider, right? And so we've explored so many different situations throughout the signs and Sagittarius, um, this will be for you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watcher. You guys already understand if it doesn't resonate to you, then, you know, don't force it, please. All right. So Sagittarius, June, 2019 is the person or the people maybe <laughs> that they're dating. Is this a spring fling or is it the real thing? Spirit, let us know, please. What is the energy for Sagittarius? Spring fling or the real thing? Are they going to be able to last? Or are they out with the trash? So the first card we have is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. <laughs> Sagittarius. Okay. I laugh. I laugh because um, I just had just the clearest, the clearest message. So immediately um, what I'm getting, from, what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, it's like a mixture, is... Um, there's a lot of laughs that you guys are experiencing at this moment. Things are seeming to go pretty well. Um, a lot of you may have that question in your mind, though. Is this just like the honeymoon phase? When is things going to get real? Um, am I, am, am I going to be able to handle a more serious thing? They could be thinking that about you as well. But overall, right now, you are enjoying <clears throat> Excuse me. Overall, though, you are enjoying. Um, what I'm sensing, though, also, this is where for some of you. Um, I mean, it's just it's almost just quite it's almost I just get the the quite it's like the literal interpretation of what the title of this whole video is you know is it just around for the season is it just is it just around for just now or is it going to be really that real thing you know once things start to progress and get more serious or you begin to understand and learn more about that person so it's like okay you know very that you may have met this person um Oh, okay, yeah, so you may have met this person like uh, while you were out on holiday. Um, or maybe some of you, if you're watching this right now, you know, and you have a holiday coming up, you may be meeting someone. Um, and things, you know, begin to kind of get really hot and heavy. If not hot and heavy, is you know, it's just like, you know, you really kind of resonate to this person's energy. Um, and even after the holiday or maybe, you know, while you guys are spending, you know, this amount of time together, it's like you understand it's only going to be for this amount of time. Let's make how can we make it? How can we make the best of it? And are you, you know, if you are long distance and we're going back to our respective hometowns, you know, are you somebody that, you know, I can really see myself you know, trying to be involved with, even though it's long distance. All right, Sagittarius, let's pull some, um, 
supportive energy. material world so there's a sense of someone you know feels it's like okay you know i have everything that i could possibly want right but what i need is a little bit more um and they could be saying all right what i they may be saying that just about their own personal life like outside of this relationship like you know they have the house the cars the money the job the you know family support you know, just everything that, you know, just anything that could fortify, you know, them as a person, like they're very stable or comfortable, at least. And the thing that's missing is, you know, the love life, the, you know, um, let's keep going. Big dreams. The person here um, is like resonating with this energy of, um, you know, they're definitely searching for a relationship too, something more serious. Tribe. Yeah. So this person is, um, okay, let me get back here. This person um, with big dreams, they're definitely, um, they maybe, they could possibly idealize relationships. They pay, they possibly could uh, be the type of person who... Um, you know, has big, like, fancy ideas. They were very, very uh, romantic, I see. Um, and this person here, you know, it's like, you know, they have everything that they could possibly want. However, there's something that they're looking for outside of, uh, you know, what they already have. Like, there's something that they're, they're looking for their place. They're looking for their tribe. They're looking for, they're looking for the person that resonates to them on a personal level. Um, they're not looking to gain anything materialistic because they already have it. They just need love. And this person is very, very romantic and they're probably, well, let's pull some more energy, but they're probably very willing to give love. And uh, this is why things just kind of seem so perfect. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Fear. It's just something about this last card is always like. <laughs> so this person here um, definitely has a lot of big ideas in love. Um, they, uh, but at the same time though, they, um, they do have a, a lot of uh, dark spaces. Um, they have a lot of, uh, maybe a lot of triggers. Um, you know, things just from maybe their childhood or things from their past that um, being in this relationship has allowed them to kind of not focus on so much. What do I do now, now that the honeymoon phase is over, now that the season is over, now that we're going back to our hometowns, however any of that resonates to you. Now I go back to being my alone self, having to, you know, face my own fears about love. And, um, but what I do feel though, is that even though this person, like the way I look at this card is you can't really tell if this person is facing forward or, or, or facing, you know, the window and I'm really feeling, I'm really choosing to feel in this moment that this person is choosing to face the window because they're actually facing their fears. Um, and, uh, you know, they're looking at their fears head on and they're ready to deal with it. So it could be either way where you're either trying to escape your fears in this relationship and you're putting so much into this relationship and you're putting big hopes and big dreams into it, or this is where you're actually facing those fears by putting your all into a relationship and into a situation. 
So that's actually um, quite interesting. The both of you are looking for something, something within one another. And I feel the both of you have found it within one another. This person is looking for a place to belong. This person is looking for um, someone who uh, is able to um, help them realize and face their own fears. Hmm. I like this energy, Sagittarius. Let's pull some tarot to take a look at another aspect of this relationship. Shuffle one more time. Okay. Strength. And uh, the Hierophant, okay. <laughs> the Four of Cups. Four of Cups. And then the, um, the Knight of Cups. Yeah. So, okay. So what I really feel, Sagittarius, um, like the energy here, I really feel strongly. Like this person has definitely seen some things. You know, they may have, they've definitely seen some things. They've experienced some emotions um, in their past um, that, uh, you know, they probably, you know, won't just openly tell you about, um, or at least not yet. But they're definitely looking for, like, um, they're definitely wanting to head in, they're looking to head in a new direction. OK, um, and there may be even like look, they may feel like in this relationship, like they're able to kind of like look back on their past and be like, you know what? I'm growing from you. I'm growing from that. I'm growing from whatever kept me in fear and I'm moving forward um, and I'm not going to have any regrets. And the person here, um, let me take a look at these. Excuse me. Okay. The person here, um, I really feel like um, I really feel like uh, they have um, they've <laughs> they've been around the world and I I I, and they have. Uh, mm, how can I make this sound like less than it's like they have had so many different experiences with so many different types of people um, to where it's like they're just really looking for something that's going to be more stable and steady and something more comfortable. Um, and they're looking for something more strong and fortified and. Um, a place, again, a place where they can really resonate. Wow. Let's pull some more tarot. Sagittarius, this is actually kind of nice energy.
Oh, all right. Sagittarius, I was in a zone. <laughs> Page of Swords. A fresh new experience for the both of you at this moment. The King of Cups. Okay, Sagittarius, you might be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, but what I do feel, though, is I feel um, someone here uh, maybe both of you are like maybe beginning to experience um, a great deal of emotional maturity. Um, even though this may be a brand new, you know, situation and a brand new, like, opportunity for a relationship, um, you know, something different than you've really ever experienced. But uh, it's a place where you can really be emotionally mature, which is what I kind of feel like the both of you are really looking for here. Yet the Empress... <gasps> Yes, the Empress, the world, um, really, again, um, a, n a new adventure, but uh, a place that they can really kind of settle down and really grow and cultivate, um, you know, their own skills and even the, their relationship. Um, this could be where... Um, Mm. I get the sense that there is going to be something that is going to um, take place uh, around um, the fall. So you've met this person in spring or at whatever point and you know it's at this point now where it's like okay am I going to carry them through the summer or am I going to be with them through the summer I do see this person keeping this person around throughout the summer throughout the fall I see something in the fall something brand something new happening um, this person walking into um, a uh, some sort of surprise but good Okay, so now we have the King and the Queen of Cups and then the Devil card. So yeah, this person um, is definitely growing. Um, within, within, this, within being in this situation, with this uh, situationship here, this person definitely feels as though um, they're able to deal with their emotions uh, in a more healthy way as opposed to approaching them with fear and being held down into a dark place. This person is moving, definitely moving away from that. They've seen a lot of dark energy and it may have like made them weary of relationships, but they're moving from that. And whoever this person is, whether it's you or them Sagittarius, the other person being, seeing how strong and, uh, strong-willed they are and how you know easy everything flows with them um this person is highly interested in elevating their relationship and getting things uh past the honeymoon phase um because i really feel like moving past the honeymoon phase toward the fall time for some of you you may get news uh about some pregnancy um, or you may um, you may decide that you know this person is everything who I want to go ahead and like make things a lot more serious with, or I want to bring them into my new you know cycle, for lack of a better word. And then the Three of Cups is the card under that under the deck. Oh, and look, and then we have the Two of Cups right under that. So the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups together right under the deck. What that, oh my God. 
celebration of a union. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't explain it more than that. A celebration of a union. Let's pull some signs from spirit and then I'll let you go, Sagittarius. Shuffle one more time. Horns, dominance, rainbow, renewal, and grapes, satisfaction. What I'm, I'm okay. So honestly, um, I'm getting like a, a very, very like country scenario, very romantic, very farmish, vineyard, you know, animals, um, fresh, like just this is not. I can't give you guys a literal interpretation of any of this right now. What I just feel a whole vibe with these three cards. It's like, I feel this like being some sort of date that you guys go on or some sort of outing that you guys have. And it just brings you this feeling of just being connected with nature and feeling very, very organic. And that's just how you, maybe how you feel now, how this person makes you feel, both of you. You might have met this person on a ranch. Hmm. But someone definitely is taking charge of their own, um, you know, of their own uh, life. And, you know, just saying, you know, you know, I'm no longer going to deal with um, certain things from my past. I'm going to, like, just do away with that. And I'm going to make myself begin to see the beauty in things and um, enjoy, you know, all of the simple pleasures. Oh, goodness. Okay, Sagittarius, let me know how this works out in the comment box below. You guys, this was a great read. Um, if you'd like to, uh, you know, subscribe, I do invite you guys to do that. If you like to, you know, just put a comment down and let me know how everything is working out. You guys, are, I appreciate all of the, uh, the comments, the likes, the shares, all of the engagement that you guys provide. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. Um, Sagittarius, it's really been a fun time with you guys. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.